I told you, we went a little crazy. Ay! Naku, nagpo-fall apart na siya. Hindi niya nakinaya. I'm just comparing it to the Fix chocolate bars. And this one is not a very good attempt. This is a very bad dupe. Good day, everyone! And welcome back to the channel. I went a little crazy in today's episode because I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels the same frustration. Every 2 p.m. and 5 p.m., I will still try and go to the Deliveroo app and try to place an order. And I haven't been successful. Otherwise, I would have told you. So, I got curious. I went to Deliveroo, searched if there are any other pistachio chocolate canafe that does same-day delivery. And I was successful. Pat in the back, pat in the back. In today's episode, we will be reviewing not one, not two, but three. Three different dupes of the Dubai viral pistachio chocolate canafe. I told you, we went a little crazy. So first, we're gonna try this came from a store called Viral Brands. Amongst all the other three that I ordered, this is the only one that's a bit sketchy. My first impression when I tried to order uh, on delivery, so what I did is I cross-reference the name of the brand with their social media presence. So Viral Brands, I couldn't find any. <laughs> First impression that I wanted to show is the packaging. You'll see in the other items, and if you compare it to the original fix, Dubai Viral Chocolate Pistachio Canafe, the packaging is not as fancy considering the price. Now, I'm gonna get to the price in a bit. I ordered two variants. So one, Pistachio Canafe, and the Cheesecake Lotus. So this is what I ordered. Now, if you look at the packaging, it is a little underwhelming. Uh, I'm just gonna say it as it is. It's a bit underwhelming. This variant, the pistachio canafe is called Fling, and this is just cheesecake lotus. Common emotions after consuming Fling. Happy, nostalgic, calm, excited. Fresh pistachio, premium canafe, finest ingredients, heavenly Taste. Made from the finest Belgian chocolate, this product contains nuts and milk derivatives. Ingredients. Kunafa, pistachio cream, tahini. Net weight is 120 grams. Store in a cool, dry place. Made in UAE. Okay, let's try this already. I have a plate. Alright. Ignore Bear. He's busy. He's, um... It's bedtime for him. Just a quick trivia, I'm actually filming this at night. Let me know if you noticed. It's my first time to fil film in the evening because I'm going to the office tomorrow and I want to bring all of this <laughs> to share with the rest of the Filipino colleagues because I will not be able to finish all of this. All right, so this is how it looks like, packaging. Okay, let's open. All right. So it's definitely thinner if you compare it to the original. Okay, it's falling apart. Na hindi ka pa kami break. It's only been a few minutes since I took it out of the fridge, so it's already falling apart. Oh my gosh! Ay nako nako fall apart na siya. Hindi niya nakinaya. Just ko. All right. Okay. So, so obviously, the type of chocolate that was used. <laughs> what did they say? Finest Belgian chocolate. Well, it's not high quality, but okay, fine. We didn't even get to break it, so it's falling apart. This is how it looks like. Uh, okay. Oh my gosh! Ay, yung camera ko! Okay, so I'm gonna have my first bite. There's a bit of mint flavor. Mm. 
don't expect crunch. As you can see, the minute we opened it, it fell apart. And I really don't have much to say. There's a minty flavor, which was not in the original fixed chocolate. And there's an aftertaste. Maybe it's just me, but it's a no for me. I wouldn't recommend this. It's quite poorly executed. The crispiness of the filling, the pistachio filling is good, but I'm not sure about the flavor. Now, in terms of the price, each bar cost 59 dirhams. So the fixed chocolate is like 68. So there's a 10 dirham, almost 10 dirhams difference, but I don't think this is a 59 dirham quality of chocolate. Moving on, let's try the Cheesecake Lotus. I think there's a version of this also with Fix. So let's give it a try. And even the, just the packaging, I'm not sure if it, if it registers on the camera. Um, it's just not. So even the little details, so like they're not pantai, they're not evenly made <laughs> and you can even see um there's a bit of it's just uneven if you compare it i'm just comparing it to the fixed chocolate bars and this one is not a very good attempt and so far i am not impressed with the flavor okay let's give this a try all right okay. i was expecting white for some reason okay um, this is how it looks like. Ay, nako. It actually melts quite fast. I don't understand. Okay. This is how it looks like. Okay. There's a bit of um, artwork in there. It's, it's falling apart na talaga. Okay, okay. let's... Ah, uh, stress. Let's try to break. Okay. Okay. There's a little bit of crunch in there. So when I tried to break it, um, the filling separated from the casing. <laughs> this is a very bad dupe. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna try the filling because I don't think this is worth the calories. Fine, I'm gonna try to get one with the chocolate and the filling. Okay, so there we go. I appreciate that it's not too sweet, this one. And it actually tastes, for me, it tastes quite better compared to the pistachio canafe. Okay, I'll give it one more try. But as you can see, there's barely filling in there. See how thin it is. For like 59 dirhams. Actually, it says Lotus Cheesecake Lotus Chunky Chocolate Bar. I haven't tasted the Lotus. I tasted the cheesecake, yes, but there's no chunky so far. Last one. No chunk. I couldn't taste the lotus. Essentially, that's a biscoff. I think this is their attempt with a mind your own biscoff variant. But yeah, this is this is not worth 59 dirhams because the other there are other variants that I'm gonna try that is way cheaper that I feel just based on first look is more impressive. <clears throat> so this one, 
it's a pass for me and later on at the end of the video i'm gonna rank all of them i'll do an overall ranking of all the dupes that we're gonna try today so this one viral brands dupe mm, for me it's a fail it's a, it's a poor attempt of the fix pistachio kunafa chocolate moving on to the next game i decided to put back the rest of the chocolates in the fridge just so that they don't melt just to be fair that i'm reviewing it and i'm opening it right from the fridge <laughs> the next dupe that we will be reviewing is from crazy cookies by milk cookies so first impression in terms of the width quite impressive i got two variants one is a dark chocolate and the other is the classic kunafa pistachio uh, milk chocolate first impression i think this is the best in terms of packaging wise just first impression even the paper bag that it came with <clears throat> so there's like proper branding and when i look at their social media presence they have a lot feel free to check them out because you know we want to support small business so this is the crazy choco crazy cookies <laughs> these are the dupe from crazy cookies so packaging wise very impressive it even came with like a proper cardboard casing so that is a plus point i appreciate for the price that i'm paying like there's a wow factor this one doesn't have any description details but yeah let's just go ahead with it Ooh. it it resembles the the i remember the i think the biscoff has a purple yam uh packaging so this one resembles that it looks like very nice okay let's open Ooh. Ooh. See, that's the wow factor. Oh, look at that. Look at that. See the width of that. That is impressive. So even the simple, it, you don't even need to do to make it over the top. Even the simplest swirl, it's makes it enough you don't need to overdo it okay now moment of truth i just go oh it's it is quite close it is quite close all right definitely the casing is really good the coating the chocolate coating even the yeah the casing of this is close to the original fix uh just by the look of it the width like it's a legit bar now we're gonna okay wow so even the filling very impressive so far okay i'm gonna give it a bite This is very nutty. I can taste a nutty flavor. Biting this reminds me of the same experience when I first took a bite of the fix pistachio kunafa chocolate. And I think one of the things that makes the fix chocolate expensive is because of the experience. It's an experiential kind of food where in every bite where you trigger the different senses, visually it looks enticing. You hear 
the crunchiness of the filling and the flavor. The flavor is close, a bit slightly different, more nutty, which I appreciate. I like it. The Belgian chocolate is also good. Consistency of both the filling and the coating, really good. Yes, right. Really, really great attempt by Crazy Choco. <laughs> Consistency, flavor, even the, the density, the volume of the filling, very impressive. Okay, next, this is the dark chocolate. I actually haven't tried the dark chocolate variant from Fix. That's how it looks like. Same purple packaging. I just have, they just labeled it. So maybe they just recently also came up with a dark chocolate version. <clears throat> All right. Ooh, wow. Very bold. Purple color. Look at that. Look at that. Very sturdy casing, as you can see. very good amount of filling so you can see the ratio of the coating chocolate coating and the filling the pistachio filling really really good it's not as thick as the fix one but this is close if you compare it to the viral brands this one is way way better significantly better not sure if I can do a side-by-side, -side. maybe later. I just had to put it back in the fridge so that it doesn't fall apart. Okay, let's give this a try. Very nice, very beautiful. Moment of truth. Mmm! Oh, I like the dark chocolate. Mm. I really like it. This is a very, very good dupe. A very close to the actual fixed chocolate. Consistency-wise, filling, and the, the flavor of the filling, very, very close. A bit nutty. If, you, if I compare it to the original one, but I like it. Coating and the thickness, the width, very, very impressive. Packaging also gave the wow factor. And to top it off, this is actually cheaper compared to the viral brands. This one costs 49 dirhams per bar. So that's like a 20 dirham difference versus the fix original chocolate bar versus the viral brands. Viral brands is 59. This is only 49 dirhams. This is a great steal. This is a very, very good dupe that I think you guys should try. I would recommend this Choco Crazy. It's time to go crazy with Choco Crazy. <laughs> I'm so happy that there's an actual dupe so far that's a very close to the actual fixed pistachio chocolate bar. So let's try the last one. <sighs> the last, but definitely not the least of the dupe that we're reviewing today is from Kanafa. Kuna Kanafini. It's from the store called Kanafini. When I checked their social media, I think they've been around for a long time, like 1940s, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check. Established in 1987. That's, I'm one year old <laughs> when they were established. So this is their dupe of the pistachio chocolate bars. So they call it Kunafa Milk Chocolate Bar. 
a luxurious blend of creamy milk chocolate, pistachio, and golden kunafa. Hmm, kanafini since 1987. This is 150 grams and I appreciate it. Okay, let's come closer to the camera. This is how it looks like. There's also a wow factor, like they really took their time to make sure that the packaging is right. And I appreciate that they are very transparent with nutritional information. Each bite offers a perfect balance of sweet, nutty, and buttery flavors, featuring our legendary 35-year-old kanafa recipe from Lebanon. Per 100 grams, it's 553 calories. I'm doing this for you guys, so make sure you like and subscribe and support the channel. Store in a cool, dry place made in UAE. And there's even like a manufacturing date. Oh my gosh, I love the transparency. Okay, so let's get on with it. This is fresh from the fridge. Ooh, I like it. I like their version of their splash of uh, paint. So it's like dark green and white. In terms of the density, the width, very good. Very, very good. ASMR. Ooh. Okay. The filling is pretty decent as well. Much more compact. Mm. Good smell. This one is way nuttier, more nuttier compared to the crazy choco. But something tastes different. I think how they cook the kunafa. I feel good quality. The flavor is a bit different. It's different from the original one. And I think the filling also is a bit packed. Just the consistency of the filling, if you compare it to the original one and even the Crazy Choco bar, wherein it's much more gooey. This is more nuttier compared to the Crazy Choco. I like it. I would recommend it. I think this is a classic Lebanese flavor. That's why the appeal is different for me, but I do like it and I would recommend it. This one cost 55 dirhams. So as you can see, in terms of the price, the Viral Brands is the most expensive among all the three. So the one from Kanafani is 55 dirhams. And the cheapest is actually the Crazy Choco. Okay. Let's drink some water first. That was a lot. It's so interesting the different take each brand would have. Of course, you, you can't for sure get it perfectly copy the exact recipe because I'm sure there are a few ingredients in there that are not publicly disclosed. But I'm happy that at least we found a few alternatives since we are having an issue ordering the OG pistachio chocolate kanafe. Now, I want to rank the three brands that we tried today. So ranking third place will be Viral Brands just because it was underwhelming. First impression right away, you can see from the packaging, it's sloppy, uh, there's no attention to detail. So even the actual product itself, it is so thin. There's barely filling in it. And the chocolate bar itself, it's barely a chocolate bar. <laughs> Let's keep it at that. And for the price point, 
they were the most expensive among all the three dupes that we tried today so for that price i don't think so ranking second would be this is difficult to be honest it's very difficult i feel it would be a very very close ranking but i would give the second place to kind of fanny they're perfect in terms of the quality of the product the first impression the packaging great attention to detail and they're actually the only one who disclosed the nutritional facts of the product so that is really really good impressive kind of price range is also pretty decent at 55 dirhams per bar and for the quality that you're getting it is really really good i would hands down recommend it to anyone who's looking for an alternative of the pistachio canafe chocolate this is just my preference there was just a tiny bit of difference in terms of the flavor but they're both equally good first place goes to crazy choco packaging they have a very vibrant color of packaging really quality and the flavor to me it was really close to the original to the fixed pistachio canafe chocolate it was really really close even the actual bar itself visually how it looks like it was really really close i highly highly recommend you check them out crazy choco we want to support local business there's a lot of dupes that is popping up here and there so we want to support those who are really giving it justice they're not just copying for the sake of copying but they're actually giving their own take and making sure that they're still giving a good quality product just a disclaimer there are a lot of other dupes out there this specifically are dupes that i found from the liver but maybe this would be my last attempt because they're all really really sweet let's see if there's one thing that would make me try another chocolate pistachio chocolate canafe is the one by chef noel i actually learned that one of the co-founder of the fix viral chocolate was a filipino chef they actually did their first drop already his chocolate bars are called snap with the double a to check them out they sold almost 2000 bars in their first drop and they sold out in two hours i think their second drop is coming this mid october we're gonna try if we can make an order let's see i'm very very curious to give that a try because as a filipino i'm so proud that a fellow kabayan a fellow filipino was part of this achievement who knows maybe we can invite chef noel chef noel if you're watching this i would really love to have a chat with you if you're a chocolate enthusiast do check out my other video where i try another dupe but a healthy dupe which is gluten dairy and sugar-free version do check them out in one of the cards here let me know if you've tried any of these dupes and how was your experience and how would you rank them if you like this video make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe hit that notification bell so you can enjoy more delicious content just like this one thank you so much for watching we will see you in the next one bye <laughs>